Hello everybody. I'm gonna bring a video, just kinda show everything. I've seen a video of other people's channels on how they just kinda showed their hobby room or whatnot. Behind the scenes, you know, behind all of like the desk. That's all you kinda usually see is the desk or that area with me because of how which which has kind of been both sides because I've switched rooms. Let's switch this around too here. Give it wider view. But yeah, that's usually about all you guys see is up in that area facing out with me over here. But yeah, here's here's some of my casage. Stuff older, a lot older bills. I haven't built anything in a while, but pretty clean in there they need dusted slightly because these things don't aren't perfect they got little gaps there i assume because they are slightly dirty not horrible but and that was the evo that was red with the black or white decals that was the uh, fast and furious kit just didn't want to do it like that necessarily and that was a cool older car I, I don't even remember what that's called something i picked up at the antique mall there's an older monogram low parts count i ended up screwing the glass up on it but i blacked out the wheels with the red and just kind of did a quick build didn't end up being quick took longer than it should have but still kind of neat little car to have whatever it may be in there is our subaru um, yeah, Subaru didn't even get the other side of decals, and then my living quarters years ago, my models were in a shed. That's kind of what started my kits being put in bags. Well, and that was what happened to the other half of those decals. They got moldy, and yeah, if they and if those weren't ones that were moldy, they were just water ruined. I had to, yeah away there's some kits i have that don't have directions because they had mold on them oh and i have yeah, which that with stuff there it's from my cousin that i lost years ago my aunt and uncle give me to remember him by i'm probably gonna put that up. it's better than what it is there's some more down in there i don't know if there's anything on the very bottom i don't think there is but there's a few down in there hiding those are some of those uptown kits they have opening doors i got like four or five of those and I got this display case here that's kind of needing really organized, but I just got my beetle. I'm trying to do some cool stuff with the color on that. Um, yeah, I got this up here that I painted, which didn't turn out too bad. It didn't get no clear. That's not gonna wind up being yellow, but it's just, I did the base coat yellow. It's actually gonna be green when it's done, if it turns out right. There's one that's probably gonna be left that way. That's gonna be a gasser. Um, here's my Chevette. There's the Studebaker, I wanna call it. I think it's what that is. Um, there's my Ford Galax or Fairlane. That's the body for that. Uh, my van, which is over there buried somewhere. I've gotten quite a bit of stuff kind of painted, hopefully. All wet sand out. I haven't done much wet sanding to get things. I bought this box here for seven bucks at a um, well, along with that, actually, that whole stack. But this one was the one I needed. That is a hard kit to find with the woody fenders. And I, my dogs destroyed those fenders years ago. So, and it was just a parts kit I paid seven bucks for, and it had my fenders and the other parts I needed in it. I oh, sweet. So therefore I can, which I haven't done anything to it. I just put all the parts with it. It's just an empty box sitting there, I think now, but it was a cool addition. I needed the parts and I got a few of those there. Here's one of those, another one there. I think I have three of those now. The one that's open and started. I think I have one sealed out of the three though. The other one's just spat or boxed and bagged. And the other one's been pretty much all separated and Gone through, yeah, there's one that I was setting up, uh, glue drying in there. I think that's a 62 convertible with the 409. My Cougar, my Caprice, uh, what is that? 67 Impala, there's the four door. 
That one I built years ago. I've done a little bit of detail work to it since, but you can, the windows are ruined pretty much, as you can see. And that one was a recent one because that four door has never existed until recently. That's one of the only builds I've gotten done in the last few years, really, but totally done. I work on stuff in it, it seems like. But I pushed to get that one done. I got that one done at the other place when we lived there, and it just wasn't quite complete. I finished it here. The few little things that it didn't have on it. But it was, I could still set it up here or there, rather. But, but yeah, that's one that I, and I shaved it. It's got nothing really left on it. It's got rid of all the lettering and everything on it. No door handles. This was another older build, 70 Impala. Can't really see it. Oh, there's my 65 Malibu or Chevelle. I done some shaving on it too, but it's still got the door handles because those go in the holes and I didn't fill it. I'd forgotten and painted it. There's my Monty from years ago. That one goes with that kit there or one of the kits. I don't know if I'm gonna leave those wheels on it. It's just kinda in a mock-up. Those are spinners from years ago. I was just trying to use, get them gone. An old Firebird was fixing up because it fallen apart. Just haven't got it totally done back up yet. Old truck. Uh, that's the deserter now, I believe. <laughs> I don't remember what that was. That's been years ago when I had. I don't remember what the box art even was with that one, but it's the, the deserters now. And then there's your Hummer, which is there. I don't have all the parts, I think, to build that one. That was another parts kit. Um, yeah, the parts kit, though, that one I paid 10 for, and it had the Hummer, and then it had two Rubicon Jeeps in it, like, that were pretty well complete. Like, oh, wait a minute. So, even if the Hummer's not complete, I got two Rubicons. And then I have, if that's even if I say that right, sorry, I'm not a big Jeep guy. I probably may not say that correctly, but... But I have one that was boxed and sealed still. I opened and checked the decal, or not decals, but the directions, and it was it. It was all like, sweet. So I have the directions to build them. And I have the chassis over here painted on them. I'll show you those when I get to them. You know, all these are all pretty well older builds, either right around the time my kids being young or before them even being born. That's the die cast, though, and so is that. Older 67 Chevelle. I screwed the hood up on and tried primering. I showed some of these in the videos on my other channel. That one's one I didn't build. I bought to redo, and I think I'm just gonna leave it because it's pretty well stock and it's not bad. And I wouldn't build one that way, so I'm just gonna build my builds my because I have that kit twice after since then. And the same with this Chevelle. It's kind of why I flashed up to here instead of going through them, but. I flashed up to that because I got those from the same guy and I wouldn't build that one necessarily the same way I had that. That's the same kit there and I'm doing something different with it. So I'm just going to, once I get the ones done that are the same, I'm going to put them next to each other and I'll have the variables. And yeah, like I said, I'm not taking credit for no one else's builds. I had planned on changing them like, oh, but they're not horrible, like a uh, survivor slash comparable to, because it's not bad. That one's got the slicks on it. I might do some things to change it. like take the wheels off and sand them because those weren't sanded little things to maybe detail them a little better but i don't want to redo them and i know i'm not taking credit and then this one is one that was i think my first if not first johan it's the only johan i have that was up complete on a shelf but the bad thing was that anyone that knows the car or uh cutlass you can look at the hood and see the hood like oh shit but that kit's probably a hundred dollar kit if it was a good kit, but that hood was like screwed. Had some weird, I should have took pictures and saved them. I probably wouldn't have them now, but. I ended up pretty much just sand blocking down the, the lumps on the hood because they were so bad. I don't even know if I got them good still. I think after I got it painted, there's scratches still that popped back up. I just didn't notice, but that's a pretty neat blue that turned out pretty good on the on the oils, I just had to do some funkiness to the hood, which it didn't turn out bad, but yeah, I 
and then oh, I got a few in here that are older builds as well. This old Comet that built kind of crooked in the front, and yeah, I've seen other people talk about it since and tell you how to fix it. So I might, I think that one's one that's being re really issued. I might have to snag it and rebuild it and do the same with that. Have it compared, sit next to a nicer, newer build. And that one, I love this one. I had bought it to redo it, and the dogs ate the other one. I had it painted blue, and I'm upset about that. It's, it's getting harder to find. Some, a couple of my El Caminos, I love Elkos. Much as I love them, and I only got a couple done, that's the bad thing. A couple, few of my little snap kits that I had snagged. I plan on painting that one up, because I think that would just be a cool little slammer. That one's badness, badness to the bone, I'm sorry. That one didn't build up very well. That one was, you know, kids probably get frustrated with that one. The well, clip front or rear, whatever it was, didn't stay on very well. There's a couple of my tool organizer type drawers. Got some parts, supplies, and mishap stuff in there, miscellaneous. Here's some of my build-ups. These are pretty much complete kits. They're just started, ready for paint or close to it. Some of the bodies are on the shelves to those. Actually, there's a 300 to buy. The kit's probably up there for the 300. Yeah, it is. It? And some of the boxes are there still too. Like that one there, the Porsche. That one's pretty well ready for paint, I think. I was gonna do yellow, I never got to it. That wagon goes, I thought I had that wagon. Yeah, it's up there on top. Just one of those things I try to keep my build-ups out here, it's not necessarily all of them. I've got some put up that I just aborted mission onto, but then I've stripped that Pontiac. I think that's what that is. No, Buick, sorry, yeah, it's a Buick Electra. I was thinking Pontiac, Pontiac. Catalina, my fault, I don't know why, but yeah, the Electra, I stripped it because I wanted, I noticed there was a piece in it that I wanted to do body pan-wise, and uh, the body was already, and I didn't have the paint to match, so I stripped. And then the super stock Nova, it's right there. So one of those things, I got quite a bit done. The duster just when I got out was looking, uh, and that one's got messed up glass. These are some buildups that were from Pop. And that one was my dad's that I had painted years ago that I don't know what to do with. I lost my dad quite a few years ago. Don't know what to do, whether I should just build it back up. Or, I don't know. Here's some of my bag, that's all my bag kits, at least that I have in tubs now. There's more. I'm gonna give you guys a walk through to show you guys. There's a few more of my kits that I didn't get put up, I guess. There's my big, let's get some lighting going, sorry guys. Lighting going in there, there we go. But here's one of my shelves, it's pretty well stacked up, got some that one's got my semis though at the bottom. That whole bottom shelf down there is my big rigs. It's got a lot of my race cars on the shelf above it. And then just a lot of GM miscellaneous stuff throughout the rest, I guess. I used to have, I had a big, uh, there's a box here that's got a few bagged in it. But those were ones that were being pounded or it already have been. Um, that whole dresser in there used to have kits on it too. But I have since gotten another shelf. I bought this one. So uh, I could have more space. This is all my Fords, pretty much. It doesn't have all of them on it, but most of, anyway. And here's where I do my pond back here in this back room to keep it away from the dogs and in a room that's closed all the time and up where they can't get to it when they do go through because this is the way they go out technically because outside's where they go out back there and then there's my other shelf one that i had for years out at my mom's i got and finally put the remainder of my kits on but that's got a lot of my pickups and other just miscellaneous junk mixed in try to get all my pickups together couldn't really organize everything but i got it pretty decent now i've got what three shelves and four tubs of bags and i could use another shelf probably like this one or this one here this shelf wasn't real expensive this was one i got out at 
bargain hunt or whatever. I don't remember one of those. I forget the name of it. It's a weird little store. I paid 40 bucks for it though. And then the other case, the other shelf, the one that was in my closet, my bedroom, that was like a, I don't remember. I paid close to the 80 or no, I don't know, 60, 90. I can't, to be honest, I don't remember. But it's better. It's nicer. It's metal. It took a lot longer to build than this one. But I think I would buy another one of these before I'd buy that other one again, just because it took me so long to build. And it would be easy to lose pieces on the other one. But nice having my stuff organized up. I just wanted to, sh though, and I, I'm sorry. And I just wanted to show you kind of my setup. I'm still working on things. One of those things I guess we always will be doing. As Ed enters one of my bags right there. It was being ponded parts of. <laughs> Got bags all over. I've kind of been busy this weekend. Having time off for Thanksgiving and all. And yeah, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. Time off. There's some more kits there. There's like, they're just all over, man. There's some parts in those that tub, along with other junk too. There, like it's just, yeah, it's all over, guys. One of those things. You guys know how it goes. I'm still kind of organizing. This isn't really a setup that's gonna stay, but it's just kind of how things are for now. Okay. The Volvo there, yeah. A couple cutlasses. Nova sitting there that I've shaved. That one's getting prostrated though. That's why it's sitting there with the prostrate chassis. Just things I kind of been bouncing around from. I just wanted to give a show of the room, I guess. Some of my daughter's art up there. She really wasn't proud of. She. She, so she quit doing I think it turned out okay. She only did the one with the cactuses and the, the skylight or whatnot. And then that's something from school recently, the pumpkin. But I don't know. Just kind of the stuff I like saving to to add to my stuff. She don't necessarily like it, but I think it's neat. There's another one of my big rigs sitting back there. Oh, yeah, I got a few more kits back here. <laughs> A few bag of kits in there. Some of those are just parts or build-ups that need redone. And then, yeah, there, that's Chevelle, that's Beetle. There's a, there's a parts kit that had like three complete Beetles in it. Here's one in a bag. Oh, here's the Jeeps that I bought. I mean, I mean yeah, here's the kit that the, the Beetles were in. Super bug. There's like three in there. Pretty well complete. I don't know exactly yet because I haven't went through and built, but I went through parts and built separated and like wow. A few there. These are just ones I bought recently though. These couple. Walmart had them again here on Bethel Avenue, so I snagged a couple. That's where I got that Nomad and these two and what was the fourth one? Oh, I got the uh the Corona with the wagon. That was my fourth one of that purchase. Oh, and then there's the Lincoln. Um, got a few of those. Dogs are destroyed. One of those. One I have one of those. It's just a parts kit. It's probably actually that one with the torn up. Yeah, because I have one that's sealed still in the box. Then these are older issues of that. Same 41 Plymouth. I have like four or five of that damn kit. And then I have that, which is the Avalanche. Um, yeah, some old coop stuff and boxes, bags. I have a couple SSRs that are on a box that are buried down there. Jeez, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right. This video is going on 20 minutes long. Just, you know, better be getting it finished. That's some of my older buildups, too, that are falling apart that I need to redo. There's an old Lincoln, which is that kit there. I've been, I want to kind of redo the wagon. That's why that one's sitting where it is because I didn't want to mess things up for it because I had it. There's a lot of parts in there and I don't want to break nothing. But I want to redo the wagon when I do it again, I believe. Don't know what that is. Um, there's a an Eclipse. That was a cool kit there. That one has adjustable suspensions. It's a Lexus. It kind of yellowed from smoking. I used to be a smoker. I haven't smoked in years, but my whole family used to smoke. My mom did, my dad did for years when he was alive. He quit for the last few years that he was around, but 
one of those, yeah, we all did. My brothers, no one does really anymore. Thank God. I'm glad everyone has quit. But it was a thing that was always around, and it does. It has its effect, for sure. It puts a yellow in, on your walls or anything, man. It, imagine what it does to us, man. That's that's horrible. But uh, hopefully, this is a decent video. I know it's like 20 minutes long. I'm going to end it now, guys. All right. Later, y'all. Y'all take care.